Hello, good day guys. So, today I have a different kind of video. I'm uh, calling this video Let's Draw. And uh, in this video I'm going to be like showing you how I do a drawing from start to finish. And I'm going to give you a commentary while you watch it, kind of. So the drawing we're going to see today is uh, this drawing right here. It's uh, the Winnie the Pooh and the um, creepy friends. And uh, yeah, uh, let's just start right away. So basically, if you look look at the paper, you can see that I have pre-cut the paper in the proper size so that um, I can uh, fit in the drawings uh, because there are so many characters I'm going to draw. It it, it like needs to have space for all of them, and uh, I always start a drawing with uh, like a simple, super simple outline of uh, all the characters. Normally, well, I I have no idea what I'm going to do or how I'm going to place them, but I just like just gonna start working and I hope for the best, I guess. Uh, the creepy design just comes uh, automatically. I mean, like I know how I found some reference pictures and I know how they uh, look like. So I just basically do them in a slightly different, like creepier way. So I'm using a normal uh, uh, graphite picture. It's a uh, 4B maybe or B. I don't, know, I don't I don't remember. It doesn't matter. At this point, it's just to blocking the shapes and to show you how um, it's done. And right here, I'm uh, right here. I'm going in uh, with a marker pen, uh, just like a super pen, uh, black thingy. Nothing special about it. It's not magical or anything. I just uh, use it for, yeah, basically to outline it. It's uh, uh, zero point five in thickness, I guess. And um, yeah, it um, it allows me to do outlines, and uh, outlines are good in drawings and in stuff. Uh, so yeah. Um, and while I do the outline, I uh, I think about how I'm going to color and shade all the, these guys. Uh, with um, coloring and shading, I'm going to use uh, Pro markers that you're going to see now in a second. I just need to lay in some basic small shadows with uh, markers here. And uh, here we go. We go. We're going with the uh, Pro markers. Uh, we just add the uh, color. Like uh, if you have like an adult coloring book, or if you have ever been a small small killed. Ah! If you've ever been a small kid, you have probably used a coloring book and you know how to color stuff and this is basically the same thing. I have done the outline, I have done the drawing and the only thing that I need to do now is, is color them as uh, they are. I mean like uh, the tiger is orange, the poo is yellow, it's, it's super simple. Uh, I used uh, slightly different like sadder colors, not as bright as they normally appear in the movies. So yeah, the sadder colors add to the creepy effect. Uh, after I added the colors uh, with markers, I go now in with uh, my trusty little uh, smudge brush and my trusty little uh, charcoal brush. And uh, with uh, those things, I kind of add the darkness to the drawing. I make it more creepy feel. I make it. I, I make it look dirty. Uh, dirty drawings look creepy, I guess. Um, when you have like misshaped the shapes of the original characters and add some dirtiness, some black dirtiness to them, it really adds to the really cool effect of uh, being a creepy, simple, funny drawing. At this point my phone uh, kind of got um, empty on space, so I need to uh, like reset it, so the camera angle uh, was a bit strange. So yeah, I just continued doing the thing, I add some more details, I add the uh, ground shadows, I, add, um, I just add some more super easy stuff. Uh, there's no mystery or tricks to it, it's just uh, fun and joy. I normally do drawings like this uh, in between my tattoo customers. I um, work uh, when I wait for a customer that's late or where I, when I have extra, ti extra time, I just use it to do a drawing like that. Uh, this drawing altogether took me less than two hours to do, so it's, like, it's, it's a really si simple fun thing to do. And I enjoy those stuff. It's really nice to take a break from all the really advanced and really, really like more uh, intricate work that I do. And uh, yeah, now you can see the finished drawing right here. And uh, I'll show you just a couple of more more of them that I have uh, done uh, before that you have probably seen already. But I like to put uh, my drawings out there so people can see it. So you have like all of these drawings that I have uh, been doing the last years. Um, I did uh, the first one just for fun. Uh, just just to have some fun because yeah like I said I was waiting for a tattoo customer and I did the first drawing and I posted it online thinking it will get no likes or people will not like it and uh, after I have uh, posted it people really really enjoyed it and I didn't know why because the internet works in mysterious ways and you guys like stuff that I wouldn't even imagine you will like 
so yeah, after I got some super good feedback, I, uh, I decided to do a couple of more and they got even more good feedback and um, so I just kind of continued rolling with it and working and doing like these creepified uh, versions of known characters now and then and uh, it seems like you guys like it. So uh, tell me if you like this kind of video. Uh, I try to keep it as short as possible so you can so you don't need to like be with me here for 20 minutes like the other videos. So uh, tell me if you like it and if you enjoyed it and if I could do something else, you can give me a just give me a heads up or give me uh, tell me what you like and what you don't like. And if you enjoy this, I'll try to do a couple of more. Uh, if not, I'll just stop. I don't know. We'll see. So um, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for being awesome. So bye.